Hello guys, welcome to my show Just with Jani, where I'm going to be talking to you guys about the happenings, the ups and downs, basically giving you survival tips in senior high school. I'm your host, Queen Shani. Let's go for a quick break, we'll be back. Welcome back to Just with Jani. Today's topic is friends and backstabbers. As you know, wherever we go, we meet different types of people. We have to interact with them, make friends. Some end up being backstabbers. Some end up just being with us because of one or two things. So yeah, you see near high school, it's not different. It's the same, but this is worse. For me, I think it's worse. <laughs> I didn't know I was coming to a school where making friends will be this difficult like it's going to be very dramatic you know just making friends is just okay oh. like your friends you're talking and everything but here you see just high school is different like the kind of drama attached to it gosh you won't want to go to that kind of drama <laughs> so first of all you must know how to choose your friends we come from different walks of life and you know we have different characters we are all not the same so you must know how to approach someone talk to someone or you must even study their character their attitude because <laughs> the kind of attitude some people have i don't think some of us can stand it someone like we i don't some attitude i can't stand it so just basically you have to know whether the person is a good influence or a bad influence on you and whether you can cope with the person secondly involve yourself in cliques and groups well when i came to senior high school i realized that people are grouped they formed cliques and it's like when you attack one person that click, you attack all of them, so they all come at you. And that can make you very uncomfortable. It can make you, your living here in Sina is very uncomfortable because it's like they're all at you. Like anything you do, they'll be against it. And it's serious. Me, I wouldn't advise you to join any group or click. Be yourself, be free. See, freedom is nice though, it's sweet. <laughs> nothing should restrain you just be yourself no don't be someone's friend and because the person does this the person doesn't do this so you to restrict yourself to those things no have fun you are in your teenage don't be restricted just be yourself and you'll be okay if you want to join groups and clicks i advise a good one a one that people know you to be maybe a shakur or eh, something like i know you get it they, they have to see like, hey, these people, they're on trauma, but like in a good way, you have not this kind of bad named cliques or say groups. Well, basically, don't even join any of them. Just be yourself, shall you survive? Thirdly, know whether your friends are good or bad influence on you. Very, very important. If your friend is a bad influence on you and you are easily moved by influence, <laughs> I'm not sure you can cope with the aftermath of everything because now you'll be a different person. Even your parents or people who are close to you, people, your loved ones, they'll see that there's a change in you, but not positively, but negatively. You need a good, a positive influence on you so that when you go out there they'll be like mm -hmm, yeah okay something about you has changed maybe you should do something that some of your friends out there or even your parents or people close to you didn't like and now it's like it's that thing you are, you are no longer doing that thing they'll be like oh, okay okay that means the people you are working with they have sense they are correct you have mm -hmm. and also be careful you trust. Yes, trust is end, not given. It's end. Be careful who you trust. Yeah, it's in your high school. Necessary, oh. very necessary. Before you realize, your secret is out there. Understand we always want to open up to someone. At times we feel that this person is close to us. So like, let me just let go. You open up and everything. And before you realize, your business is out there. Everyone knows everything about you. And you know the only person you told. And that person has just sold you out like that. 
Now, what will you do? Nothing. You can't do anything. All you can go and do is sit and cry. Or if you're a hard girl, take it in good faith and you learn your lesson and you move on. We move. But be careful who you trust. It's not everyone you tell everything. And be careful the things you tell people. Because here in Zinia High, they would twist it, change their story. And before you realize, something you didn't say, people are now telling you you said it. And it's very annoying though. Because you know you didn't say this, but you say you said this. How? When? Like how? People would twist your words. See, some people, they are just cause trouble. They just want trouble. So anything they hear you say, any little thing, they will just twist it and go and spread different things. People are, like, people are coming, and you said this about me, you said that about me. You didn't even say anything too. And they'll be making you feel like you're a bad person. But don't feel like that. If you know you didn't say it to another person, I did not say this. This is what I said. They decide not to believe you. If them and live your life after all, you came to this. Yes, you came to this school alone, and you will live alone. Nobody is living with anyone. It's just that parents are there to help us. They are, help, they are there to guide us. They are like a support system, and we need them. You can't tell me you don't need a friend. At least one friend. You just need one friend. So we've come to our end of our discussion. Just sit down, think about it. If you have any experiences with friends, you can share it. I'll be reading your comments. Thank you for staying with me. We'll be back for the entertainment segment. Welcome back, guys, to the entertainment segment. So today's entertainment. So let me just brag about my school a little. So I attend St. Brother Andrew Senior High School, properly known as Brand High. And in this school, in this my very prestigious school, we have upcoming artists here who have already released some songs. First of all, the first song that was released, well, I, mean, I don't know whether yeah, well, yeah, it was released, but I don't know whether that was their first song. Was We Go Blow by Ice Sketches featuring Wave. And also Kunle. Kunle topped the charts here in this school. Like during entertainment, when they even hear the music, Charlie, the energy is mad. Kunle too was also sung by Ice Sketches and Wave, followed by Bounce. Bounce, oh, Bounce. Oh, eh, my favorite song. I can tell the dance, bro. Oh. <laughs> so, it was sung by Kobe featuring Ice Sketches. So, on my show, we are always going to have an artist for the week. Yes, no, a celebrity for the week. So, every day we're expecting a celebrity for the week. Today's celebrity for the week is Last Mid. In December 14, 2019, Last Mid won the MTN Hitmaker Season 8 with 120,000 Ghana CDs, recording contract deal, and a black Anibisa headset provided by MTN Pulse. After the competition, he was signed by Ghanaian record producer Kiwa on his record label Highly Spiritual Music. In 2022, he released a remix of his single titled Sika featuring Ghanaian Afrobeat singer Kwame Eugene. He gained attention in Ghana with his remix topping charts after it became a trend on TikTok. So I'm sure you all want to know his actual name. Well, Last Mate's actual name is Last Mate Nathaniel Owusu, better known as Last Mate. Yes, he's a Ghanaian singer, rapper, songwriter who hails from the western region of Ghana, Takade to be precise. So Last Mate came to fame with that was he gained attention with his remix with Kwame Eugene. That was trending on TikTok because me when I heard a song, I was like, who is this Last Mate? Last Mate, like we are all hearing of him. I don't know him more. So now I'm now knowing about him, but like he's my star crush. <laughs> so yeah, that is all for the entertainment segment. I hope to see you guys on my next episode and don't miss it because it's going to be more fun than this one. See you guys later. Bye.